welcome back to part two of the law of creation of energy demonstration. Uh, in this video, we're going to demonstrate how conventional electric generators uh, perform negative work with created electromagnetic field energy according to Lenz's law of induction, the work energy principle, and the law of creation of energy. And uh, then we're going to show how uh, created electromagnetic field energy can be used to perform positive work, system kinetic energy increase um, with no uh, externally supplied input energy into the system. And uh, uh, we're also going to demonstrate how electricity can now be generated at infinite efficiency, meaning that no uh, mechanical input power is required by the generator when it's placed on load and when generating electricity. So I'm going to walk you through the components in the system. So basically what we have is uh, our variac that is connected to our power analyzer and the power analyzer is connected to the induction motor and right now we are the induction motor prime mover so right now we're delivering Right now we're delivering uh, 163 watts, 63 watts to our prime mover, and our system is at rotational equilibrium. And at rotational equilibrium, the net torque in the generator's drive shaft is zero, and the power in the drive shaft is the torque times the speed, and the mechanical power uh, is zero because the net torque in the drive shaft is zero. So when we place the conventional generator on load, what we're going to see is that the prime mover's consumption is going to increase um, because the conventional generator coil, which is going to light this light bulb, is performing negative work and it's decelerating the system. It's reducing the kinetic energy of the system. And uh, if this number goes up, that means that the induction motor, prime mover, is adding additional torque to the drive shaft. And if this number goes down, it means that the prime mover is uh, adding uh, less um, torque to the drive shaft. So we'll place the conventional generator on load and we will observe uh, negative work which is being performed by created electromagnetic field energy. And in the previous video I explained how that energy is created at the subatomic electron level. So now I've placed the conventional generator coil in the system on load. We're delivering about, uh, about 11, 10 watts to our light bulb. And our prime mover has responded by consuming additional uh, input power. And our prime mover is delivering additional mechanical power to the drive shaft of the generator in order that we can provide sustained power to the load. So I'm going to put it on to no load again. So 
So we are at no load uh, rotational equilibrium once again. And our prime mover is consuming 165, 64 watts. And uh, the power in the drive shaft is zero watts. We're at rotational equilibrium. So the conventional generator is now delivering power to the load and the created electromagnetic field energy is performing negative work and decelerating the system and we're delivering power to our load. So now I'm going to put the, and we can see the, the load current sine wave for the uh, conventional coil. And uh, now I'm going to put the uh, Regen X generator coil on load. So I've placed the Regen X generator coil on load, and the Regen X generator coil is performing positive work. It has uh, accelerated the system, and the prime mover is consuming less power when uh, the Regenex generator coil is on load than it does when it's on no load. And we can see the load current sine wave for the Regenex coil, and it is delayed in the time domain by about 50 degrees when compared to the conventional generator coil. And uh, this prototype has two Regen X coils in it, and I'm going to place the second Regen X coil on load. So now the second Regen X coil is on load, and we can see that the second Regen X coil has contributed to additional acceleration of the system because the prime mover input has gone down. Uh, again, if the, if the prime mover uh, input is going down, that means the speed of the system is going up, and uh, our input power to the prime mover has gone down, the speed has gone up, and we're delivering additional power to the load, and we can see that the load current sine wave for the Regen X, the, 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 the Regen -X coil is uh, 90 degrees, a little more than 90 degrees out of phase. So essentially what we've done is completely reversed uh, Lenz's law of induction, and um, we've basically invalidated Newton's third law of motion, meaning that we are not performing a counter electromagnetic torque, but we are, per we're per we are performing or producing a complementary electromagnetic torque. So we're going to basically just take a look at uh, the two load current sine waves and what they mean. And so the red sine wave is the conventional generator coils load current sine wave. And essentially what we have is 
from here to here, we have a, a north pole magnet that is approaching the coil's core at top dead center. And the coil is producing uh, a repelling, is inducing a repelling north pole electromagnetic field. And the, the coil's uh, repelling north pole electromagnetic field is performing negative work on the approaching rotor magnet and it's reducing its kinetic energy. So when the rotor magnet passes the coil's core after top dead center, now we have a north pole magnet that is moving away from the, from the coil and, and the, the induced magnetic field in the coil or the B field is now a south pole. So the created electromagnetic field energy around the generator coil is now performing negative work as the rotor magnet is moving away. So let's look at the induced and time delayed electromagnetic field energy created around the Regenex coil and how that contributes to uh, positive work being performed and system kinetic energy increase. So from here to here, we have the rotor magnet, the same rotor magnet that is approaching the same coil, coil. bear in mind that basically what we have here is a conventional coil and wound on the same core is our two Regen X coils. So the, both coils are being uh, influenced or excited uh, at the same time by the same rotating magnetic field. So from this point here to top dead center, the Regen X generator coil is also producing a north pole repelling magnetic field, which is also uh, performing negative work on the rotors um, approaching north pole magnetic field. But from top dead center onwards to the crest of the um, load current sine wave for the Regen X coil, the Regen X coil is still producing a north pole repelling magnetic field, which is, which is working uh, in concert with the north pole rotor magnet that is now moving away. So the Regen X generator coil's north pole magnetic field is performing positive work and accelerating uh, the system uh, when it's on load. And uh, so that's basically how the Regen X generator coils load current sine wave contributes to positive work being performed and how the conventional coil uh, performs uh, negative work. Thanks for viewing. Cheers.